Komno. And that is how you say how are you in Kasi. In today's video, we are going to make an essential Kasi side dish called Turumbai. And uh, it is made out of fermented beans. Though it is a Kasi dish, it's pretty famous in the entire Northeast and the lots of Northeastern households prepare this dish. There are many different versions of how Turumbai is made. I'm going to show you how Turumbai is made in my home. And uh, remember Turumbai is an acquired taste and those who have tried it and loved it absolutely love it. And I even have friends who actually use Turumbai as a bread spread. <laughs> The most important ingredient uh, for making turumbai are the fermented beans and they are sold in packs just like these in uh, Shillong and in, uh, in areas where we have Kasi population. They are called rumbai beans or beans rumbai by the Kasis. This is the beans that is used to ferment to make turumbai. The other ingredients are uh, 1 cup of uh, sesame seed roasted and pounded, 2 bulbs of garlic, 2 inch piece of ginger, 5 to 6 chilies, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 onions, 2 tablespoons of mustard oil and salt for seasoning. First let's open our turumbai beans and mash them. It's okay to leave some beans unmashed because some people like it chunky and don't even mash it. Let's quickly pound the onions, chilies, ginger and the garlic. This looks fine. Your mixture doesn't have to be fine, it can be coarse. Our ingredients are mashed and ready. Let's heat up some mustard oil. Once the oil heats up, you can add the ginger, garlic, onion and chili paste. Stir fry till it's golden brown and then you can add the turmeric. Now let's add the turmeric. Fry for a minute or two and then you can add the beans. Now add the seasoning and mix it well. Let it cook for another 2-3 minutes and then add water.
When the whole thing comes to a boil, add the roasted and pounded sesame seeds. Add a little bit of water and allow it to cook for another 5 minutes. The serving size of turumbai is like that of a chutney or pickle and remember not to have it as a curry. You can prepare your turumbai in bulk and store it for an entire week. Thank you so much for watching Eat Your Kappa. I'll see you in the next video with more amazing recipes from the Northeast. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.